Hello, it's been a while since I've shown off some music that I've been working on. Today I will remedy that with four pieces, um, all at various stages of completion. Um, well, yeah. Um, I think I got a good order down that will make sense for listening to, you know. Um, so this first one is just called light minor feel and that's that's all that's all i got uh what's what is the key is this uh this an a major a major yes very fancy um yeah yeah enjoy this one i guess Yeah, that that drum line, that drum set part feels very good. I I've never gotten the drum part that feels that good. Um, the the fill, I, that's a really good fill for my standards. Um, yeah, this is just more or less just a solid groove. Um, about all it needs to be, you know. That's okay. Um, this I think is the most recent thing I've worked on. Um, this is called currently something major, upbeat. Uh, it's in G major. Uh, tempo is 155. That last one was 112. Um, I, I think these are all 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this one's got some swing to it. I've actually got the chords written in on this one, too. So, you know, that helps. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, so what's all going on in this piece? We got, yeah, I'm looking at all the chords, 9th, 11th, some form of 13th. Uh, I'd say the simplest type of chord is a 7th is a chord. I, I don't know, I just kind of went ballistic on that for some reason in this one. Um, but I like it, you know. I, I'm feeling like, I mean, I showed this one to my mom and she was like, Sounds like it could be in a commercial or something, you know, commercial jingle. Um, I got I got an idea for the vocal part, and I'm kind of going for something almost more Motown, I guess. I what I want is I want some really raw lyrics because I've been listening to 
I've been listening to Michael McDonald's Motown cover album, and I'm like, holy crap, they wrote really raw lyrics. I mean, I I already knew about Little Darling's uh, Only My Pillow Knows How Many Tears I've Cried, but stuff like uh, I Have Your Picture Hanging on the Wall um, doesn't seem to come to me when I call your name. I realize it's just a picture hanging on my wall or something like that. Like, that's... Like, that sounds so stupid, but it works in the context of the song. I want something like that, you know, where it's just like, clearly someone's just pouring their heart into these lyrics. I want something like that, you know, just really soulful delivery and whatnot. Just really go into it, feel the groove and the rhythm in the in terms of the vocal performance. Um, yeah, that bass guitar part's pretty poppin' too. It kind of sucks that Musecore can't... Uh, really render glissandos too well uh the slide because it's it's this measure yeah that sounds horrible <laughs> so uh yeah um this one this one i made on stream actually um this one is currently just called glard um i believe oh goodness i believe it's c sharp minor um so that's exciting uh yeah let's uh let's let's take a whirl at this let's see what's going on in the world of glarg did i did i really say light minor field light minor field was an a major that's so cool i literally literally says minor in the name that's so awesome actually that i just realized that that's that's awesome i could have you know i could have just said three sharps three sharps you know and you you would have gotten the point without making myself look like a complete idiot, you know. Um, wow. It's it's F-sharp minor, whatever. Glarg is C-sharp minor. Uh, I'm not going to play the whole piece because it's, it's very long as it is. Um, but I have to go to some extra lengths to figure out this piece, and you'll, you'll understand why in a moment here.
Yeah. Um, I had to go out of my way to find an orchestral sound font um, in order to get access to the gone. Um, but that whole thing, the whole heartbeat of the piece, so to say, is church bells and timpani, um, rock organ, uh, and then, yeah, the drum set. I don't know, it's kind of got that, you know, that funeral march type vibe, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to do with this piece beyond here, but, oh, it could be, it could be a very cool piece. Um, that's all I'm saying. Um, I got I, I got that chord I really like, you know, that chord set up where I get the, the first, the second, the fourth, and the fifth. I love doing that, love doing that. Um, I'm a sucker for that, for that chord setup. Um, yeah. This last one is called I Think Society Disappoints Me. Uh, very cool name, very cool name. Um... Uh, yeah, this one, this one's probably the oldest of the four of these. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, thinking about it, um, I believe it would be uh, Elocrian. I believe it's Elocrian um, that this is in. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, cause, cause I mean, the it's yeah, it's a very bizarre piece. I mean, but it kind of shifts if that makes sense. It kind of shifts, you know, to uh, to the standard F major at points. It's I don't know. It you know it kind of plays around with the whole feel of one flat. I mean, I've talked about it before. I love I love one flat. I love the key with one flat. I love it. I'm I'm a sucker for it. I get very hot and heavy when you mention F major um, or anything relating to it. Um, gets me going, gets me riled up, you know? Um, so yeah.
it's a decent drum part. It's got it's got some work, you know, that it needs, but not bad. Um, one fourteen tempo. I played around with the tempo on this one. It, it started way slower, and then I made it really fast. And I was like, "Ooh, that's interesting." But I I think I like it a little more in this middle ground. Um, yeah, that midsection I I was something I else that I wrote a while back, and I just kind of converted it into the solo section of this piece. Um, so you know, it kind of doesn't really. It's it sounds different, you know. It's a transition for sure. It needs and you know I I never really have transition between my sections, so you know I I gotta work on that. Um, <clears throat> but I think I think you know this will be a neat piece once all is said and figured out and whatnot. Um, yeah, lots of lots of key changes really in this piece. Um, I think the main one in the verse is. Uh, e flat major so uh yeah i think uh that's about about all i got today um thank you for tuning in and whatnot um hopefully i'll have something to show again soon <laughs> i don't really seem to that often anymore um yeah I, I would promote the Twitch streams, but I've I've kind of been having a weird time, so you know I don't I don't know when I'll. I, it sucks. I just you know posted about having a schedule for a few weeks, and then I'm like, actually I feel really bad right now, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that anymore. So. <laughs> Also, I messed up when I made the schedule, and I scheduled basically every stream for the run day. So, you know, that was cool. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I completely forgot to switch images. I was going to switch images midway through just to, like, show something different. Look. I mean, that was Jackson. This is Lily, and Lily looks pissed off. It's funny brought her outside and she just looks pissed off for some reason you know Jackson gets this nice photo of him all curled up he looks looks nice nice and chubby you know he's he's a he's a thick man and Lily just looks fucking pissed <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she just sat there oh, yeah, yeah I remember that that this was like a month ago now she just sat there and she sniffed those leaves for like ever and then she just ran back to the door she she's a funny cat she's funny i had a moment with uh with neeks this morning the cat i actually live with because these are my parents cats right and uh neeks uh woke up and you know i went out by her i sat by her and then she actually went and laid on my lap and she groomed herself on me i you know i held her up because she was really poorly balanced so i was holding her up and uh she had her one paw clawed into my shorts to hold <laughs> hold herself up and uh and then she licked my fingers that i got on video she just licked my fingers for some reason and uh yeah then she then she went away again and i was like okay i i appreciated that though it's nice it's nice when you're nice sneaks it's nice when you're actually feeling like decent you know and you're not just rude so i love cats i love cats all right enough rambling have a good day uh see you soon bye bye